self-explanatory in its own right if you haven't played this game before then where have you been in the rpg maker horror community wolf rpg editor however you want to call it but we're going to start with the steam edition of this game and if you are familiar with my channel i know this is a bit of a different light setting um my normal computer that i use i've freaking had enough of this blue screen of death so i am re relying on my rubbish laptop to try and get this done but at least my laptop doesn't have daily blue screens of death unlike my computer which i usually use to record anyway so this is a horror game it contains scares and grotesque content so refrain from playing if you feel you can't handle it that's very good to provide to the community Please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. If these rules conflict with the rules on the author's site, the rules on the site takes priority, so please check. No repurposing repur resources, except author's illustrations. No redistribution of game files, except for translations. Do not cut the end credits from videos of the game. Yep, much obliged, I shall remember that. Include credits within videos. Check the author's site for more information and acknowledge that the author takes no responsibility for any trouble caused by the use of this software. Good. If any of you know about Plute Screens of Death, then it's just a nightmare. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all live together, happily ever after, in a crooked little home. House. Place to live where families meet. And share stories of their adventures. Whew. Finally, things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, that nice. The three of us can go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Marion, uh, partner of Paul. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Be careful out there. For goodness sakes. And we have ourselves a dilemma here. And also a dilemma with my laptop, the escape button is right next to the power button. So I don't want to have to do anything like that, which involves accidentally cutting off the power to the thing. Okay, so what's it like for performance? I think it's okay. Well, I'll find out later on if there's any frame issues. Anyways, huh? Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Take Paul's license with us. A sink. Sink. Let us sink in this lovely adventure which we shall embark upon. With me, it's been multiple times where I've been through the game. Am I? My original assumptions when this game was released or announced on Steam, sorry, is that it will be voice acted for all four games. Just like the Boogeyman and the Hanged Man were also voice acted for four voice actors of all four sorry and in this game i think probably the developer decided to not have that voice acting function in the game which i thought was going to happen in this commercial version but it doesn't matter either way the beauty is still there but i think it's just been like very minor graphical adjustments wasn't the bathroom always here or somewhere up here don't remember it being like that but maybe that's just me maybe it's just me being silly and the font is slightly different as well. It used to be a bit of a, 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 a narrower... Sorry, sorry if you can't see my finger, but it used to be a bit of a narrower font size. But this we can we can see quite clearly. And apologies if there's any frame rate issues on the video itself. Um, I'm not used to recording on this laptop, so I have no idea how it's going to play out. Experience for all of us. <laughs> David? Hmm? What's with that filthy place? It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wants to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him here. Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know, and not many places come with furniture. Guarantee, yeah. If it's got furniture, then it's good. But then again, you also want to check the furniture to see if there's anything in the furniture itself. 
Moving onwards. Besides, you told me to look for a place, right? Don't come complain to me now. Hold on. I've just got to check something real quick. And... Uh, oh, sheesh. My camera shouldn't be that large. There you go. That's better. Good. Good, 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 good. Besides, you told me to look for a place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. Okay, well, maybe we should head on to bed, probably? The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Yeah, let's trundle off to bed to see if there's any bug bites in our glorious adventure. Shut up, phone! Usually I'd get an achievement by now, but this was the point where I got my blue screen of death. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Yeah. David's ex at this point of time. Nobody there. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in a new place. One could say that. And also as well, I don't know if my microphone settings will be okay, but hopefully they will be. Man, I'm tired in all sorts of ways. Aches and pains and stuff like that. But who's going to spook me in this now? Crooked man? Duke? Ugh, really? Is this somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. No, don't follow the voices. Is it one of the neighbours? I should go ask. No, do not ask. Just, just ensure that the story goes, man. And this keyboard is a little bit different. This is a laptop keyboard. I don't mind keyboards on a laptop, but the mouse pad I really do not like. Uh, knocking gets no response. Knocking gets no response. So I'm not sure of all the differences between this version and the free version. Yes, who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You were trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 204, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Sorry for waking you up. Bye now. Hmm. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Yeah, it is. Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Can we go downstairs? Nothing to do on the first... What do you mean there's nothing to do? Of course, there's, there's lots to do. Lots to do, man. 204. 205. Looks to be empty. Looks to be empty. Looks to be empty. Occupied. Even though it doesn't say that, but it is occupied. Who's running my sink? How dare ye? Yeeks, but water. Is the faucet busted? Faucet? I can't hear myself, hear myself probably. Huh? What is this? Bloody fly, get away, it's winter! Bugger off! Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? T talk about in bad taste. Your yeah, fly should bugger off in winter. If it's summer, I wouldn't be surprised, but winter moments, for goodness sakes. I know they need somewhere to hide, but bloody heck, just fly in my face for no reason. You probably didn't see it because of the lack of light in me but i can't do anything around it i don't have any i don't have stuff like professional youtubers have where they have a huge dedicated room for their let's play recordings where they have perfect lighting everywhere oh i'm no markiplier no jack septicai for goodness sakes uh i don't have the financial resources to deal with this sort of thing there's a large crack in the wall yes can i just go to bed Yay, under the bed, huh? What's down here? Let's look under the bed. Hmm? Found something. So it seems to be the same. Just wondering what any differences are in this game. Maybe it is just exactly the same. Hmm? Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and reefing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave us? Probably. 
Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. I'll sorry. Yeah, I'll get to bed. I'll give that. <laughs> uh, dealing with a bloody poxy computer that doesn't know what it is at times, and Microsoft being idiots themselves. That sounds still. Where's that coming from? Give me a break. I need to stop. I need to sleep. I need to sleep. And will morning come on this day? Ah, morning has come along. Or is it still dark outside? Well, it is bright inside. Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean just... I'm busy with work, so... Yeah, I'll come visit today. Tell her that... Yeah, tell her that to me. Okay, bye. Oh man, I slept in to noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. When I was originally playing this game, it was one of the fewest RPG horror games that actually put me into tears and almost. And only one scene in the game where it actually put me into tears, but you know when it is until it happens. Much later on in the game. Paul, what is it? Uh, yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday? Where's my table? Oh uh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Phew, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. You too, Paul. Oh yeah, Paul, did you write something in the bathroom mirror? Huh? Write in a mirror? What kind of prank a kid do you take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Bye, Paul. Thanks, Paul. So, this is the hospital in question. No need to go in. Are these voices coming from those rooms or are they actual voices in our heads? Ah, it's David's mother. Mum, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my, if it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good, you're looking healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, and I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favourite cake shop too. So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so... Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mum, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh yes, I opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mum. Oh? Who would you be? Why are you here? Oh, gosh. Uh, memory. Her condition affects her memory, I believe. How'd you get in here? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Ma. Oh, gosh. Oh, there's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now. Mrs. Hoover. And then you'll say something about... Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Away! Now, calm down, miss. Now get into your bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave her today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mum? No, she's in a bad way. Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Um, I think the matter of the factor is, it's very difficult to get into flight school or pass flight exams if you're colorblind. Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom, it's me, remember? Mom! No. David, please leave for today. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave! Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. 
Bring the sedatives. Uh, an operation will be required at some point, but not right now. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yeah, she's forgotten, forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. Yeah, it goes from happy to angry, sad, angry. I ask you to be patient. She may get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. I hope I can help myself in the process. Golly. Oh yeah, that knocking won't get me anywheres. Who moved it? Ah, did I move that chair? No, it was not. Mm, there's something in the drawer. Let's let's see what's in the drawer. Got a leaflet for school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM, sorry, LLM courses are circled. Don't know what the acronym of that is for, the long length of that. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Probably. And with this setup I've got going on, I'd actually rather record during the day than at night. Usually I prefer recording it at night, but with this setup, with a lack of lightness in the room, I could get myself an external light source where I can plug in and use that as something. But it'd have to be something very cheap. Uh, money, money, money. I do not like money. At the same time, I do like money because I kind of need money in life. So you can get food, drink, keep a roof over your head, everything like that. Phone call. Hello. Hey, David, how are you doing? Haha, <laughs> you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told you... So I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. So worried about me, yeah. After the breakup. It's okay. Tell her I don't need to worry. Don't, didn't need her worry. She should... My speech, for goodness sakes. She should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right. See ya. See ya, Marion. See ya. See ya on the far side. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Uh, maybe that would... And more to it. All right, a TV probably. The fuzziness. Why did it turn it on by itself? Is it broken? I don't think that's the case. But we do need to check a sink. What the hell? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? Yeah, what's within the sink? Is it gonna be hair? Is it gonna be something like a power a paranoiac? A wash basin? This sink? This, oh. You're referring to this? Oh my god. This sink over here, probably. Hmm, there's a scrap of paper under here. I wonder how it got there. <laughs> got a scrap of paper. Ah, what does it say on this scrap of paper? Ah, the tale of the crooked man. The crooked mile. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a six crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked, crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And we all lived together in a crooked little house. Uh, is this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant? So much strange stuff. I should just sleep and forget about it. I don't think it's going to be easy to forget after this, David. Moving from a change, moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess it's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but hmm. what's going to happen now? Is that a kid I hear? This late at night? What kid would live in these these beat up apartments? Gosh, heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. 
Ah, the child which is in the school. Um, there's Sissy, there's D, and the little boy's name I've forgotten. Because there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Oh, we got hallucin. 18. Where did I break? Break. 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 Ah, this must have fallen over. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. One startled me. Wait, what? Help me. Oh, no. <laughs> the coffee's spilling out. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, this room is really, really strange. There's voices and TVs turning on. What is this? Is this some sort of dream? A uh, horrific landscape. Uh, who's calling me now? Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah. What's up, man? You sound sleepy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, what's up all last night? I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? No, I don't know. You asked the landlady. You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff, but I asked the landlady. Sure. Later, dude. I go the rounds in next time when we hit the pub. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I go and see what she knows. I'm hoping to finish this before the Sandman man, so, the Sandman comes out on Steam. And then from there, when I finish the Sandman, I hope the Boogeyman releases events I want. And there's just like a continuous cycle of what to do next. Right. 104, 103, 102, and that's where the lady is. The landlady's room. The best room in the entire apartment, probably. I wonder what it is outside. Probably just nothing. Nothing but a blue screen of death, probably. Ah, hello. Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something. You see, about the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Mm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He's only left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, oh, I just can't remember that name. Duke, 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 Duke. I'm joking. I could rummage through my documents to, pri sorry, to find the previous tenancy if you'd like. No, there's no need. I was just a little curious. No, just stick to the chase. Stick until there's nothing left to be unturned. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alrighty, sorry I wasn't very useful. Well, you could give the landlady a bit of a chance, David, you know. A man about my age. I could only wonder what he was like. Oh, well. I'll get back to my room. Skedaddly. Let's get to my room. And then let's find some strange markings all over the wall. Like this. Like, but, oh, not yet. But there is ink all over the floor, and it leads to this crack in the wall. Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Ah, is there something in this crack? Maybe? There's a crack on the previous floor as well. Got a brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I don't ask for anything in here, so I wonder where. Oh, gosh, with this floor and everything like that. Ah, the guy's voice, the kid's voice, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. <laughs> it's like a plodrist or something. Don't have to pronounce that name correctly, by the way. But I would have thought the land, it is a name that you see time and time again, but you look at it and it's a very difficult word to pronounce. Well, from my perspective, it is. So just cut the slack if there's anything that I mispronounce. <laughs> But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? I think it orbits around you, David. Not that I'd much care if there were ghosts here. Nobody'd be too bothered if they haunted and killed me either. Oh, gosh. Self-doubt like that. That's no good. 
You gotta be proud of yourself. Even if you know, I'm not proud of my life, it's my stupid computer. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Yeah, I just really like when I get myself to bed. Anyways, get to bed. Just don't let the bed bugs bite. Don't worry, there won't be any strange writing. Where's that coming from my computer now? Hi there, an old computer. Is it a computer? Oh, it's, oh, it's a radio, that's what it is. Radio? What's, why is this in my closet? Not to mention it's turning on by itself. Yeah. Hmm, there's something on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. Let's look at this address. Alright. It doesn't have any details on the address. Damn it! And that's the Mother Goose Rhyme. Um, law school leaflet. And notebook scrap. Lighter. Burn this place into the abyss. I'm waiting for you. What? I'm... I'm waiting for you. What, what did... How and when did it... What? Reunite the loud screaming. Eek. So I believe we went over to Paul's place. Yep. So you slept well last night? Sorry, I had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Uh, wasn't expected, but don't swear it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot, man. Oh, uh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the new Wed's love nest. <laughs> hey, why are you... <laughs> no, just kidding. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. Hmm. I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I'll hold her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I don't know about the history but behind Paul and David. Are they childhood buddies? Maybe looking into the lore of this game. Probably able to find out a few more secrets about the friendship behind these two characters. I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital, and the girl wants to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. Spoiler for the next character. You keep that mopping up and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet, send a postcard. I don't think that hotel will be having postcards to provide. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? No, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. God damn it, I'll not take him the food without question. Ah, we return here. Oh, look, there's no writing on the wall. Hallucination. There, looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five-hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. For goodness sakes, David. Yes, I wouldn't be surprised if I came in here and I also was perpetuated with these paranormal entities. Prologue, David's room. 
and thin. Finite. Lovely. Data 2. Do that. The 30 minutes to get through that scenario, I'm surprised. Just getting started. Achievement unlocked. Better been another achievement, but that didn't pop up on this playthrough. Because I tried to record this separate. Okay. High CPU usage detected. You may experience performance issues. Sheesh. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? Hmm. Guess I'll just have to check. One hopes to check. Okay. Just performance checking as a hotel Roninhain. Giving you a serene stay. I don't think there's anything serene about this hotel. After all. Hotel register. Locked. Staff only. There's wires around a doorknob. So what you're saying is the doorknob's missing. Right, so is there anything in particular within these rooms I need to investigate about? Because I don't remember 100% of what I need to do in terms of puzzles. But there's something on the shelf, which looks like a treasure hunt. And that is within the dining room, I believe. But I just need to know where this dining room is. I think it was on the floor up and rec room. No, it's not in here. There's more tables shown on that thing. Cafeteria. Ah, here we go. It's in the cafeteria. And it's on this table. Huh? Something on the table. And we found a golden key in this. Oh, I didn't mean to skip past that. I was just trying to get to the items, that's all. A shiny key. I wonder where that goes. It's not labelled. God damn it. Maybe this key is for something else. Right, let's investigate the other rooms. Key all won't open, won't open. This room here, what mystery... Well, greetings. There's something on there. There's a scrap from a notebook on this dresser. Pull up a diary, I would believe. It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here. But it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule of this page, it matches the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. No, I think he's far gone. And I think he's hanging around somewhere else. Okay. So he got dumped her. The note at home did mention that. And our special place. He came here with her. He came here with Sissy. Where could he be? Got a notebook scrap. Shelves are empty. Shelves are empty. So I can't really say if there's any big differences between the free version and this version. Hmm. If this just turns out to be exactly the same experience, then unfortunately I've not got anything new to provide. Due to employee incompetence and lost keys, the library is temporarily closed. We apologize for inconvenience. Use the golden key in here. Nice. This is where it has sparkled down. A key. Wonderful. Got a key to 108. First floor. Cry of the unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided to the unconscious. Even if you believe you are cold hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside, and they will snuff it out. They will be lured by your unconsciousness, kindness. And they will drag you away. Some kind of a cult book. A bit poor would love this. He's way too into this stuff for his age. That stuff. This stuff screams of a sightless achievement unlocked. Pat tied with books from K to well, K to well. I bet they all just have the same thing actually. G to H, E to F, C to D, A to B. Hmm, what did that sound? Sissy, are you around here? 
Don't be a sissy and come on out, sissy. Cue to R. Cue me epic. No, there's no epic music. It's just the silence of the damned. Oh, that one has three different letter rings. The owner's collection of books. Please read at your leisure. Alright, so I'm glad I got that key preemptively. The, the key to the light. Who the freaking heck is in here? Um, look, sissy, just come on out, okay? I'm not gonna hurt you. Nope, you're not here. You must be in one of the other, 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 other rooms. Um, a grand piano. Today's program? Fireplace. Oh, wonderful and spectacular. So, out of all of the Strange Men series games, I'd say this is probably my second favourite. Um, I don't know, I think The Hanged Man has got first place in my opinion, just because of how the story was written out. Um, I think it was a very nice finale to the series in itself. But I would say it's probably only a very, very, cl very, very close one. Um, the Boogeyman was my third favourite, along with Sandman being my least favourite, but still a very good game, but I, I don't know, I just think of the, uh, the fantasy element of the Sandman and other fantasy creatures that were involved kind of just dulled it down a little bit. But also the fact that it didn't really make sense in itself and it's a bit of an enigma. But of course, even with my vast knowledge on these games, I don't know. And that's the good thing about it. I just, I don't know. Now I can get what's on the dresser. I need to be one of these chairs. And that was the closest one. Wire cutter is excellent. It's the bathroom. Looks like the bathroom. Excellent. Clock. Clock stopped. There we go. Oh, somebody is playing the piano for goodness sakes. Look. I know you love a piano. Will you please stop this racket? Yeah. Who's there? You don't have to scare her, David, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. I just came in and and the piano looked nice, so I, um... Sorry I yelled at you. I'm not on staff of a hotel or anything. Who are you, then? I'm David. I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm Sissy. Hmm, Sissy, Ben. What brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know. Hey, the same applies for you, David. I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box, decorated with rubies, but I'm not leaving until I find it. Right, well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here for a while longer, so I could help you find it. Really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Just do me a favour, though. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Okay. I'll, I'll be going, then. Uh, David, you be careful, too. Carries, say, sorry, carries David's hesitation there as well. Three different fragment, fragments of one personnel, all being part of David, and a probable part of Duke as well, which is the crooked man in this case. If this is your first time seeing the crooked man for yourself, then this is not a playthrough for um, spoilers to be hidden. Man, what am I doing shouting at girls? I feel like a shady one here. Yeah, you are. Just, hey, you there, stop playing the piano. I'm getting sick of your lack of... T I'm joking. I don't know your talent, sissy, with the piano. And I don't want to judge it. Even though I just kind of did. <laughs> okay, so we've got ourselves some wire cutters. Excellent. But where can we go now? I believe we can use the wire cutters around this. The text goes away too quickly. Now, I think the problem is, as soon as I actually face the direction, it actually interacts with the door, and I try to enter, enter at the same time. Cut the wire with the cutters. Excellent. So I should note that from now on. Maybe not. A notebook. Door in room 106, bathroom needs fixing. Excuse me. 
There's a key on this page. Got a key to 106. What other key do I have? I know I have a, a, a key to another. No, it was it was 108, wasn't it? Full of miscellaneous, miscellaneous goods, miscellaneous goods, miscellaneous goods, miscellaneous goods. The trash can is full of crumpled paper. God damn it, there's no doorknob. And we can hear a cry from this room. I hear something. Is somebody locked in there? I should find a way to open it. Some way to open it. Four chapters of the book have mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report to the owner. Immediately. Immediately. Blind with journals and account books. I know we're going to need the library later on because there's something written in there which we need to note down. But unfortunately, all the notes that I have are on a note pad, no, word pad document, which is on my computer, which is buggery. But fortunately, I have an external hard drive to bypass any issues when it comes to accessing certain parts of my store. Oh, we've already been here. I forgot about that. Oh, the basket was something which we collected from the house. Yeah, it was collected from the house. We've already been in 108. Okay, so that's locked, which is 112. So we need to keep for that at some point. But let's go to 106 for the time being and see what we can do about this freaking door. Because I think that's a good idea. And I also may do at some point, like, I don't know, a theories video just talking about the series in general after I completed all four games on Steam. So I've already completed all four games just with this time around. It's on Steam. A little minor adjustment. I knocked the door. I'm just thinking, is there going to be any major differences? The graphics look a tiny bit cleaner, crispier. But that's all I can find at the moment. Oh, this doorknob. Ah, here we go. A doorknob. Oh yeah, that journal mentioned something about door repairs. Hmm? Would it work on that door without a knob? It's the same kind. I'll give it a shot. Thank you for the... Yeah, this mirror of filthy. I don't, know, I don't want to see my own reflection, so... Thank you, mirror, for being filthy. I do not want to see my own grotesque reflection. Actually, my, my reflection is not grotesque. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful, and you don't know what I am. I am... The most pristine individual... On this video. I'm the only individual on this video that you can see. Besides the characters of this game. Right, okay. Doorknob for this area over here. Here. Over here. Attached to the doorknob to the door. And it opens up. Excellent. And save. It actually feels nice recording on a computer where I don't have to constantly save to the fear of blue screen of deaths overraining my head. I don't like that. It usually activates when I'm actually recording, which is annoying. A phone. This tile seems a little loose. How dare it be loose? Stomp on it! I don't know if that has something to do with that. Hmm, it's open. Was there a mechanism in the floor? Yeah, it's that thing we stomped on. There's a ladder and it goes down. Where else? Maybe I should check this out. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, we could use the lighter, you know. And that voice in our head. Maybe it's not just in our head after all. Can't see a thing. I need a light. You have your lighter, David. Like this lighter here. So, is there anywhere in here... Anything in here which we can use while we have the access here in our favor. Um, yep, the individual's there, as you can see from that dark shadow. Golly, anyone in here? Wooden boxes? Anything at all? Surely there'll be... Oh, okay, we went too close. Are you okay? Hey, you, you were locked in here. I think you should back away, David. Yeah, back away. Hold it. What? Uh, are you okay? What? Yeah, I would. I would leave if I were you. 
Critters. Wah! Wah! This is like Wild Luigi now. Stay back! Don't come near me! Let's get up here. And you grab my leg. Press confirm. You mean enter? I think enter would be a better button to put on there rather than confirm. It's just easier for the personnel to identify. But we know that confirm is enter. Anything that is the confirm button. So that's Z or enter. Or if you want to have a double chance where you press Z and enter. What was that? Its neck was all crooked. Couldn't have been a human. It was human once. Am I just going nuts here? That thing. It couldn't have been real. It was real. As real as you and I. I must just be seeing things. I'm just so tired. It's all... Ugh, I feel sick. I feel sick of looking at all of this. I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came for? No, and I still... I am a survivor. Achievement unlocked survivor. I survived my first encounter with the crooked man. Hmm. That's the theme in all these games is that there's one no, one antagonist. And that antagonist is something, well, in this game itself, for example, is a crooked individual. <coughs> oh my goodness sakes. What's that, Sissa? Okay, what? Okay, it won't be that room. Not this room. Which room was it? Ah, oh, this room. Oh, gosh. Uh, what happened, Sissy? I went to the window and the floor gave way. What should I do? Sissy, jump over here. It's dangerous over there. Uh, no, I can't. I'm slipping. And I can't possibly jump that far. I gap this big. There's no time for pessimism. It's going to crumble soon. Hurry, I'll catch you. Ah! Well, yeah. You did it, sissy. You did it. That was too close. Are you okay, sissy? Are you hurt? Sissy? Aww. The, the, um, the portrait's been updated with these games, like the backgrounds like these, for example. We got a bit more detail to them, but I believe this sort of thing has already been released on the free version of the game. So scared. Oh, so scared. No more. I, I don't like the dark. Why, why do I? I. It's okay, sissy. I'm sorry. I know you were scared, but it's fine now. Don't cry. Ah. I, I'm sorry. I was scared and confused. It's alright. I'm glad you're not hurt. It's good to cling so onto someone in a time of need. Let you know that you're not alone. Did you find what you were looking for? No, not yet. It wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you came all by yourself. You could always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask you. But I've just been wondering. Was there a present or... It's a present for my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me. After my own life. Ah, I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it too. You're looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but... Can you tell me more about them? Uh, well... I don't know that much either. Just that he's a man about my age. Huh? You know that little about a person you're looking for? Hehe. <laughs> You're a strange guy, David. I am I'm not. There's just some things I want to ask. And I don't know how he looks because um strange, but very kind. I'd have been hurt badly if you weren't here. I'm really grateful to you for saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. Yes, yeah, see ya, sissy. See ya, sissy. My ghoulie me. I do like the different um, menu loadout. Rather than it covering the entire screen and coming in from the right and shuffling to the left of him. Maybe I'm just imagining. It's been too long since I've last played this game, so that's why I'm a bit 
uh, be confused with how things operate. But still, it's all good. It's all good and fun. So what have we got in our inventory? What have we got is a brass key. And I don't know what I need to do from here, but maybe something is about. Right. The basement door's open. Yeah, good, isn't it? I think he left something behind. So if we go to where he was... No, there's nothing down here. Oh, there is something over here, actually. There's something here. Got a bronze key. Where does this key go? Where does brass key and bronze key... Okay. I was a bit startled as to why that disappeared, that was all. Yeah, so this crooked man, where could he be? For goodness sakes, um, he must be somewhere around this hotel. Well, for good, yeah. Any who's, any holes, any where's, any why's. Where's our next objective? Right. That needs a passcode. I still don't have me right. Okay. Does this bronze key? Okay. It doesn't have anything on it. So, what is he clutching at straws here at the moment? Let it go. Key hole. This room. I don't think there's anything there. That's locked. That's locked. That's locked. That's locked. I need something for that room. So there's not too, actually too much to explore within this place. It's just that it's just a bit monotonous. Going, but then again, hotels are monotonous in this life. It's just a bunch of rooms. Use the bronze key on the cafeteria. Okay. Um, I think saving here would be a good idea. Okay, so... A journal seemingly written by a staff member, the last page is rambling and sloppy writing. A toaster to our owner, who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing here. Bring out a job's no good. Was so I being out on a job's no good? But at least we don't have to see his mug no more. <laughs> We're so sick of that egghead always trying to fluent his intelligence. Installing weird stuff to the basement door. Having a number lock on the food storage. All his silly rubbish made the place impossible to run. Plus the passcode was this theme of a book which he changed upon every month. What the hell do you have to do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him. But sure as hell not us. Ah, uh, whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we're, all out, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. The door to the food storage is at the far end of the first floor. Alright. I don't know there's a passcode on it as well. A passcode for, on food is pretty absurd. Yeah. Rationing and that lot. Ah, uh, so... Brandy, it's got tons of alcohol in it. I might just catch by if I drank this. Yep, so that's okay. So we need to remember that those bottles contain fire. Excellent. Well, we contain the potential to have fire. Empty beer bottles. Mm, at times it does seem a little framey. Mm. Anywhere else? When is he going to appear? He is in the crooked man. Hmm. Maybe at some point I need to come back there. Hmm. Library. Where was that again? Yeah, there was a lot along here, wasn't it? Right. Which one was it? C to D. A to B. G to H, I to J, K to L. With all these things, M, M to N, O to P, Q to R, S to T. Oh, the blackboard is the owner's room, said the strange case of Dr. Jickliol and Mr. Hyde. It'd be on the shelf, right? Oh, here we go. Okay. 
one, two, okay, so we've got three, six, seven, nine. Three, six, well, greetings. I hope you're well. What do you want? You want me? Sounds are different. It's gonna be the best way. I've got to escape. Well, yeah, I do have to escape, but where? Okay, that's not to escape. Okay, drop to the below floor. There we go. Yeah, game over achievement for goodness sakes. Uh, when was the last time I saved? Oh, good, it wasn't too far. Excellent, we can get back there. Three, six, seven, nine. Three, six, seven, nine. Three, six, seven, nine. What lovely numbers to remember. Basically, you have to look at the chapters which are not in the book. One, two, four, five, eight, and ten. So, three, six, seven, nine. And then, save. Excellent. Look at the crooked man. Hmm. You still there? So the point of that was for us to make him fall down, probably. Hey, I know you're coming this way. Maybe if I drop him down here. Hi. You got something to say? There we go. Tumbling downwards. What is that monster? So what I saw earlier really was it. Can't believe such a thing exists. But there's no way it's coming back now. The room under's locked up. Yeah. I don't think locked doors actually affect paranormal entities. So you can scrap the idea of a physical locked door as something that will help you along your way, David. It just will not. It won't and it cannot. It just is not of the rules of this realm, or any other, to be honest. Three, six, seven, nine. And that opened it up. Excellent. Trash can is empty. Ladder. I could say that that was too easy, but I'm not going to say it's easy because I once had a problem before when I was trying to originally figure out this puzzle. Got a key to room 209. Excellent. Anything else? The hinges are too rusted to open. Oh dear. Um, food. Yeah. It's food that's probably gone rotten. Damn it all. Okay. The racks hold tableware and cooking utensils. Excellent. A wine cask. Rusty pot. A small fruit night. Oh, why can't we take it? Why can't we just take it preemptively? You know, knives are very useful on your endeavors, for goodness sakes. Okay, so it was 209, yeah, good. 209 is the case. 209 is the place. 209 is where we need to go. Ah, David. I like the story of David the Moth, but just the overall concept of the Hanged Man to me was pretty lovely. Right, 209. So that's why it's my personal favourite of the, uh, the Strange Men series. Although I would say out of Uri's games, my personal favourite game is Mermaid Swamp. Just something about the, um, the mystical features in that game were just wonderful. Oh, was this a photo? There's something under the pieces. Got a notebook scrap. And what does this one say? I don't need her memory anymore because I know she won't come back. I have to erase everything good and bad and all the memories inside of me too. What are you referring to? Ah, my head hurts. Whew, it's easy enough. She's so exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. Or eaten much to that matter. So he burnt this photo to mend his broken heart, huh? I don't think that will help, actually. I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget 
Never. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. Hey, Sissy. Oh, there you are, David. Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There are lots of rooms I can't get into, so it might be one of these. What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Oh, there's nothing, but Sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You might not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger too, so I think you should go. Look, I don't like dark, scary places either, but there's no such... So there's no need to tease me like that. I'm not a kid afraid of a boogeyman. Spoiler. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, but I'm not t trying to tease you. I'm telling the truth. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't worry, I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but... A monster? Maybe you mistook, some mistook something in the dark. You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. I like to think you're right. All right, if you insist. But be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll go looking elsewhere. Watch the scenes unfold. Alrighty then. The cog stopped. Anything else in here which we can look upon? Shelves are empty, shelves are empty, everything like that. Uh, it's still there, okay. Nothing else here to see, nothing else to transpire by. Looks like the bathroom. Yeah, so when I do walk up at some places, it does automatically activate that. Well then. What well, seems to be the outcast for this particular room? I wonder if it's something to do with a crooked man. Hi there. Is there something I can do? Red Riding, was this here before? No, it was not. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come to me. I'm waiting for you. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Sounds pretty inconsistent. What could have written? Who could have written this? Maybe that thing behind you? Maybe. Hi. Yeah, you got to do something. Uh, no, he's too close to me. Aha, uh -huh, okay, maybe not. Uh, you can... You can use your lighter. Oh, yeah. Now that he's covered in alcohol, it should be pretty flammable. Again, only a temporary ease to your pain. This fight does seem a little different, though, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> he goes off in flames. Uh, what a hot performance that was. Uh, through the fire and flame. Anyway, he ran away. Phew. What the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? I might, I might need something to defend myself. Even just a knife could really help. Was there one of these around? Yeah, in the, in the food storage. But you didn't pick up, which I wanted you to pick up, David. Uh, the game is steering us into different directions. Well, it's pretty linear, actually. It's just one path. With a very minor adjustment around. Hi! Do you move on your own? A fruit knife. Maybe I should take it. Just for self-defense. Oh, I got myself a fruit knife. I got myself a butter knife. I'm gonna spread some butter. Hi, are you bleeding? But blood, this wasn't here earlier. Did something happen to Sissy? Where is it going? Let's follow the trail of blood. Not here, so it must be... Oh, it's over here. Wait. Where's this all going to? It leads to here. Sissy, what the hell happened to you? I know you're afraid of the dark, but that is something to be... Sissy, what are you doing here? Whoa, your arm's bleeding. So it was your blood. Were you hurt? My arm caught on something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about... There was lots of blood there. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you get an anemia? Asthma? I'm just still tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Just shut up. We're going to deal with us. 
give me a hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief. So I can at least try to wrap it up. Good thinking. I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt? It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Does something happen? My blue. Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? It's silly that I'm wandering in this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, all to find some measly box. Measly? But it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend? Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Huh? <sighs> he left me quite a while ago, but while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That was when I lost my box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come back. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just bring, brought back all those memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Sorry, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, and here, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Got a key to somewhere. It's excellent. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. Hope you're okay. Be careful. It's dark. Thanks. I'll look for your treasure, too. Hee <laughs> hee. You sure are nice, David. You might be growing on me. <laughs> I don't know if such a wonderful girl would suit a loser like me. Sorry. I think you both are quite similar when it comes to that sort of thought process. Quite low self-esteem. Why are you always like this, David? Like, like what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Do you even have a personality? This is Shirley talking, by the way. I don't mean to. I mean, I, I just try to think to myself, for myself. I don't see it that way. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. You treat anyone else the same way, right? That's why I can't trust you. The please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologise and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that all? Maybe it's hopeless for us. I'd hate for it to end this way, but I think we would both be worse off staying together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Shirley. Don't do this, Shirley. Wait, we can talk this out. Shirley! And there goes, the, and there goes Shirley. Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that. Timidly refusing to forget. For a moment I realised she didn't love me. I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. Might be. Possibly. So, key to somewhere. Key used to somewhere unknown. Excellent. Used to be unknown key here. Excellent. Ah, this is the back garden. I think a save here will be very fine. We're quite close to the end of this particular episode. If I can get it by this. Something's in the fountain. Is it a box? It is a box. A box. Maybe this is the one Sissy lost? Holy crap it. It must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. 
Oh, give this to Sissy Pronto. Got Sissy's box. Sissy, are you around here? I've got a box for you to have. But I don't think you'll be in this room when I soon get there and realize now you're gone. Huh? Did Sissy leave already? But she's wounded. That is from where we came from. Hi. Well... Nah, this is the best point. Best point of the game to save. I literally thought they would be out here. What's going on? Oh. This room. Sissy. Oh, that was a bit more true than I thought, actually. Ah... <laughs> uh... Hi, monster. Hello, crooked man. No, stay away. Stop right there. Back off, monster. David! You and your empty eyes. Damn it. Sissy, get out of the hotel. D David, what are you... I said run away. I will take care of this. With this butter knife. Hey, monster. I don't know what the hell you are. But don't you lay a finger on Sissy. Um, but, but this, this thing. Okay, we've only got 10 save data files. Okay, so what have we got? Yay, Z button to... Aha. Get, come here. I will emerge victorious this day. Okay, so what are your... What are your movement patterns? We've got something like that. Hi. Okay, so I'm hurt. Damn it! And I think I move a bit slower every time my health is down a little bit. Uh. I don't know if there's an achievement where you can reach perfection. So at times he moves a bit faster. So I'd rather know when he's moving faster so I can make those strikes when he... Just after he moves fast. Hmm. Can I click twice? I can move click twice. Excellent. Hi. Excellent. We didn't die there, but we did take damage. Don't know if that's going to affect me in the future. I did it! I... David... Hi, David! <sighs> David, are you okay? Yeah, I don't think he'll chase us anymore. But never mind me, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm not hurt. But... Sissy, what's wrong? Are you not feeling well? You're scared. Why? Why does this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did a horrible monster attack me? I... I just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have my memory of him at least. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I... Can I not even love him? No, I hate it. Someone... Somebody help! Sissy... Yeah, the first choice will lead us to the bad ending. Please don't cry. Crying won't do any good. I know all too well how you feel, but... It may be tough, but you have to move on. You know that, don't you? You can't keep going on like this. I'm sure someone will understand you someday, so please don't... Cry. Yeah, she, that's not reassuring at all. You don't even let me cry? There's really nothing I can do? This is your treasure. I found it in the courtyard earlier. You decided to forget everything, right? I'm sorry. I was selfish. I know better than anyone, but I can't keep going on like this. I can't keep stewing over it. I, I need to forget him. 
It's a precious memory. But I don't need it anymore, do I? Do I? I'll be going now. Sorry I couldn't help you, David. I hope you find who you're looking for. Yeah, thanks, Sissy. Be well. Greetings. Sissy! Sissy, hey, open up! Sissy! Sissy! Damn it, stop it! Stop it right now! Don't you lay a hand on her! Open this door! Stop! Uh, and that's why this is the bad ending of this particular tale. Uh, uh, <laughs> and you're next, David. Hi. Bad end one. What a sissy. <laughs> Am I? I'm joking. Am I right? Bad end one. How dare they? How dare you do that to me? I know better than that, and that is what we're going to do. Oh, we have to do all this again. Well, hopefully, I can achieve this much better than the last time. Okay, so just look out for his quick movement patterns. I hope we can do this more quickly this time. Hit him twice. Mm. Later on, we will have a better weapon than this. There we go. Good. So now we play the part of this again. I'm just going to skip forward in time. Do do do, David. Do do do, do do do, do 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 do. It's okay. I would say that if the Crooked Man wasn't as good as it was, I don't think the series would have that long-running likenessness, likenessness to it. Okay, what's wrong with being a wimp? What's wrong with being a wimp? Huh? You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? David? You know, I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You, too? I was dejected. Even now it still pains me. I don't think I could truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse of a man, especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy with my friend when my friend got married, and it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think. Maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of someone. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David. This is your treasure, right? It's a pretty fancy box. It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand. And I know I'll always support you. Thank you, David. I I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you too. Hey, David. Did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open it, so... But I didn't lock it. A key? Wait, hold on. Oh, the one in our room. Maybe this brass key? <laughs> nah, of course not. Ah, yes, that's the one. Where did she find it? Uh, really? Uh, I picked it up around here. <laughs> it's a lie. A key from my house opening Sissy's box. So the former tenants involved the box. What does that mean? I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches with the notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it, but I guess the guy you're looking for put, put this paper here. In here. 
Seems that way. It has an address on it. It goes to a school. Are you going there, David? Yeah. He wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, David. Well... Aww. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. No, Shirley would be jealous of it, but that surprised me. <laughs> but she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this address where he is now? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I find him, I'll go anywhere. Any, anywhere and everywhere. Scene 1. Hotel Ronehild. Sissy. End. Good. Good for us. Scene 1 completed. Achievement unlocked. So the scene makes me arrive in the school. Man, this place was far. It took almost an entire day. So this is the place. Looks like the school was abandoned. No one around. But I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let's see if I can even enter. Mm. I bet you can enter. Hey, this is the school from that leaflet. Then maybe he is here after all. Well, I think we're going to leave ourselves with this weaselly noise to the next time. And that's long enough for me as well. So that's the prologue done and scene one completed. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And we're going to be seeing each other on the next time of The Crooked Man on the Steam's version. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.